give you light A million stories forever you write The shaken world, we discover new meaning Losing myself since we stopped breathing A halo on the chosen My oh my how we have fallen Hello Gemini, this is Inspire 2016 with your monthly tarot reading for the month of October 2016. The first card for you is representing, your condition at present. Your card is, the Eight of Swords. Situation is stressful. You feel a lot of pressure and find no way out of problems. You feel frustrated as you cannot do anything at this time. You should be patient with the existing situation. Be careful of making agreement documents. For finance, you may have financial difficulties. For work, you will be pressured and blamed by your boss. If you want to seek a business partner, you should suspend for a while. Do not be hot-tempered as you may have difficulty and legal problems. For love, you will be in a frustrating situation. For health, you may not be in good health. Be careful that stress may make you sick. You might feel trapped by your own thoughts and perspectives. The woman in this card is blindfolded and bound, trapping her into thinking that she has no way out. However, if only she could remove the blindfold and change her thinking, she would see that she does indeed have options. So. The Eight of Swords suggests that you need to look at a difficult situation from a new angle. Draw upon your intellectual self and your emotional self to determine the best path forward, one that avoids any possible victimization or restriction. The Eight of Swords is often a sign that it is best not to make any important decisions at this point because your thinking has been limited and constrained by self-imposed boundaries. You are struggling to see a situation for what it is and have been led to believe certain things that may or may not be true. There are choices available but first you must be within the right mindset to know which option to choose. This means releasing the bindings and the blindfold to see the situation from a different, less imposing angle. There may also be too many ideas running through your head. Thus it is best to wait until you feel more secure and certain about a situation before making important decisions and taking action. The woman in the Eight of Swords is often seen as powerless. She has surrendered her power to an unknown entity, thus rendering herself completely powerless. She has become the victim and is now waiting to be rescued. If you see part of this woman in yourself, then it is imperative you take back your power and personal accountability and open your eyes to the options that lie in front of you. The fact is that you do have options, even if you do not like those options. This is fine, so long as you accept that you do indeed have options and you do not have to be the victim here. The Eight of Swords portrays a dilemma whereby you are faced with the difficulty of a painful decision and you are at an impasse uncertain of which way to go. However, what you may not realize is that the decision in the eight is the result of our own actions. Despite the fact that you have boxed yourself into a corner, there is a way out. The solution is simply to deal with the situation in the most direct yet tactful manner possible, and face your choice within a strength. 
It is time to be honest with yourself and others in order to be free of the burden of fear or guilt that is implied with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords can indicate that your interests will be opposed by other people, and this may create restrictions to what it is you want to achieve. Take back your power and realize that you have options whether others oppose you or not. You do not have to be constrained by their way of thinking or their rules. The second card for you is representing the immediate challenge or problem that you'll be facing. Your card is the High Priestess. You may be confused and not be certain about the current situation. You may find yourself lost in the uncertain situation with no end or final outcome in sight. For work, you have to pay more attention, otherwise you will have to waste your time correcting it again. Besides, you may have pressure at work. If you are initiating any new project at work, it may be delayed or not be achieved as planned. If you have your own business, be careful of cash flow problem. This card can signify that you are not listening to your inner voice and may need to take time for reflection and meditation. It is as though your intuition is calling out to you but for some reason you have switched off and are no longer really listening to what your subconscious is trying to tell you. Think of the High Priestess as the calm center inside of you that is untouched by your external world and know that she is always there when you need her. She is a part of you that you have not had much time to connect with but she is an important part of you. Whenever you feel that things are just getting too crazy and you are faced with impossible choices, find a quiet space and listen to your inner voice. If you stop thinking about your issues or just give yourself some space and time of nothingness, the answer will come to you without having to even think about it. So, try listening to the nothingness and see what comes to you. There are some very important answers that lie within that you can access right now. The High Priestess also suggests that you are normally an intuitive person who is connected with your inner self but in recent times you have lost this connection. You may be rushing around and worrying excessively about external issues and other people's problems that you have lost focus on your own needs. You are not listening to your inner guidance anymore and this is leading you further astray. The strong message here is that you need to take some time out for you and you only, so that you can tune into your inner voice and connect once again with your subconscious mind. Meditation or spiritual study may help. This card can also represent repressed feelings an over-reliance on the opinions of others and an excessive need for approval and validation. What is needed is greater confidence in yourself and a deeper knowing that you have the answers already within you and do not need the validation of others. It can indicate that you have been gaining occult knowledge on a superficial level without any comprehension of its true significance, perhaps merely to impress others. It can also indicate that you have not been listening to your intuition or have been trying to ignore something that you know deep down is true. In either case this will cause problems for you. On a deeper level, the High Priestess can mean that you have failed to come to terms with yourself as a woman. If you are a man, it can indicate a damaging refusal to accept the feminine, emotional, intuitive side of yourself. Finally, the secretive nature of the High Priestess can indicate that there may be gossip, hidden agendas and issues going on under the surface. Demand to know the truth and prevent others from beating around the bush and keeping secrets and other information from you. The third card for you is representing, your goal, aspiration or best outcome with regards to your situation. Your card is, the Knight of Pentacles. You may worry about your finance. Actually you are a risk lover. You may be interested in real estate or stock market investment. For work, there is no progress at this time. However, if you keep learning all the time, there will be a chance to progress in your career path. For finance, if you have your own business, 
you may be busy with managing your cash flow. However, you will be able to make it. For love, if you are a single female, you may have a chance to find love with a good-looking guy and have security in your life. On the other hand, you need to be trustworthy, reliable and a good provider. You need to follow a routine to ensure that an important task or job is completed from start to finish at the standard expected. You are in implementation mode and are committed to getting the job done, even if it requires hard work along the way. You are also fiercely loyal and prepared to do whatever it takes to ensure the job gets done. There is a certain element of perfectionism associated with the Knight of Pentacles. You are meticulous in your approach and you make sure that everything is planned and executed down to the finest detail to create overall success. You will never leave a job half done. It is essential to you that you complete all assigned tasks and projects to a certain standard and that you follow through on your promises. If you are dependent on the efforts of someone else to help you accomplish a goal in life, they will prove trustworthy and reliable. They are as committed to your goal as you are and they are very conscientious and committed in their work. For example, you may have employed the help of a house cleaner who consistently does a great job, or a virtual assistant who is dedicated to assisting you with every task you throw their way. This is someone who wants to do a great job and is not afraid of hard work in order to meet your expectations. As an event, the Knight of Pentacles often shows a time when you will have to assume responsibility and take charge of a situation. You may be assigned a project or given a task to do, and you will have to commit your time to see that project through to the end successfully. With the Knight of Pentacles, you will be required to accept responsibility without any complaints or grudges. Sometimes, the Knight of Pentacles points to the more mundane elements of life. It represents routine, day-to-day -day activities, and general hard work that can sometimes be a slog. It indicates a conservative approach that is risk-averse and very safe. This card also asks you to continue doing what you are doing, plodding along and making gradual progress. There is also no need to change your approach, just more of the same. Go with the flow, stick with your usual routines, and over time, you will reach your goals. Similarly, the Knight of Pentacles suggests that you are taking a very moderated and conservative approach to life right now, and while you may be feeling that change is imminent, you are sticking to your tried and tested ways of doing things, you have established that you need routine and careful planning if you are to achieve your goals. It may not necessarily be a very interesting or exciting period but at least you know you are on the right path to achieving your goals. Even if you are growing weary and tempted to quit, this night beckons you to keep at it, keep grinding away at it and you will eventually see success. Keep your promises and stay true to your commitments. Conversely, if a situation has been stagnant for some time, you might see this night as a suggestion that you are being a bit stubborn and could do with a compromise. At times, this knight can become too narrow-minded when he is fixated on his own stuff and is hard-headed, obstinate and resistant to change. The fourth card for you is representing, issues from the past that have led to your current situation. Your card is. The strength. In the past, you may have faced with tough time and were very tired. It made you grow up and become more matured. For work, you may feel that it is tough and too difficult for you. However, you will finally make it through with deadly difficulty. For finance, you will spend much money on extravagant items or spend to improve your personality. For love, if you are single, there is few chance to be fulfilled. If you have a lover, you may feel tired of your lover but can still go on your relationship. This card also reflects a compassionate approach. 
you are like the woman in this card who offers love and patience to the ferocious lion in order to be able to tame him. You give others space and you are tolerant of their needs. You are accepting and can easily forgive any imperfections. In doing this, you create a safe and trusting environment where you can then gently influence others. This demonstrates a level of soft control, persuading and coaxing others to your way of thinking. The qualities of strength card are already in you, waiting to appear once you have mastered all your raw, foundational emotions and when you are ready to move on to the spiritual tasks that lie ahead. Its main lesson is that emotions must be transcended if spiritual wisdom and intuition are to be awakened. Your inner voice is often drowned out by the constant noise of emotion and preoccupation with fear. Only once you have eliminated these raw emotions can you begin to create the silence you need. So conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you are doing. Eventually you will see the wisdom of letting go of your lower self. The strength archetype teaches you that you have the strength to tame the beasts within yourself. Meditating on this card can assist your process of honoring and experiencing the inherent strength that is within your nature. The strength card shows a balance of the aspects of you that are human, animal and divine. It may seem impossible but love, kindness and a brave heart can bring them into balance. In a tarot reading, the appearance of the strength card indicates a time when you need to be very conscious of your instinctual urges and reactions, and bring them into balance with the greater good and meaning in life. This is not a time to act out in rage or in hatred but instead to look at the situation from a place of love and compassion. The strength card represents a higher level of consciousness that allows you to take responsibility for yourself so that you can master yourself and your world. The strength card reminds us that inside each of us is a passionate and instinctual side that, depending on the person, will either burst out frequently or infrequently. If you are one of those people who acts impulsively or irrationally, and who blurts out angry comments or negative things to others, the strength card calls on you to try to tame yourself. The woman in this card is calmly subduing the lion by offering peace, love, and warmth. You may need to do the same to prevent yourself from leaping out at others and saying some things you might later regret. The strength offers you the hope of connecting with both your inner and outer strength. It asks you to find the confidence within yourself to present yourself to the world as strong, assertive, and persevering. If you have been self-doubting, the strength card gives you the confidence to fight those doubts. Additionally, if you are feeling worn out or stressed, strength says to you, things are going to get better. You are going to find the strength within yourself and within others to keep going. When strength appears in a tarot reading, you can be assured that you have enough endurance to see this task through to its eventual end. If you are pushing too hard, strength shows the need to withdraw for the moment, and to be patient. Enlightenment will come only when the time is right, it cannot be rushed. It is clear that strength and courage will be applied to all your endeavors. Results may be slow in coming but you will hold your own, get a lot accomplished and summon up enough energy to do what it takes to get the job done. One way or another, you will be recognized or rewarded for your efforts. The fifth card for you is representing, your subconscious realm. The underlying feelings and trends associated with your current situation. Your card is, the death. There may have been some problems that made you feel terrible in the past. There may have had a change in your life that you did not like it. However, the disappointment and regret may have been your protector and helped you handle things effectively. You may have had a change in your work or changed a job or had to work in a condition that you disliked. However, you should be patient as the terrible things are being resolved. For love, 
you will be recovered gradually if you have been disappointed or regretted. Overall, the death card is symbolic of the ending of a major phase or aspect of your life that may bring about the beginning of something far more valuable and important. You must close one door in order to open another. You need to put the past behind you and part ways, ready to embrace new opportunities and possibilities. It may be difficult to let go of the past at times but you will soon see how important it is so that you can bring renewal and transformation into your life. If you resist these necessary endings, you may experience pain, both emotionally and physically but if you exercise your creative imagination and visualize a new possibility, you allow more constructive patterns to emerge. Similarly, Death indicates a time of significant transformation, change and transition. You need to profoundly transform yourself and clear away any of the old in order to bring in the new. Any change at this time should be welcomed as a positive, cleansing, transformative force in your life. The death and clearing away of limiting factors can open the door to a wider, more satisfying experience of life. The death card contains elements of a sudden and unexpected change. You may feel as though you are caught in the path of sweeping change and cannot escape its effects. Though the immediate thought is toward the negative, an end need not mean failure. The loss could be a series of unexpected surprises that bring an end to a period of turmoil or problems. You feel you can no longer go along with the status quo and want things to change radically. Many changes are going to take place to enable a new direction to emerge. Finally, death is an indication that you need to learn to let go of unhealthy attachments in your life to pave the way to a fuller, more fulfilled life of deeper meaning and significance. Death teaches you to let go of outworn and outgrown ways of life and move forward. This is a perfect card to use to break a bad habit or pattern of behavior. This is a time of eliminating excess and cutting out what is not necessary in your life. This may be a good time to purge old belongings, memories and baggage that is getting in your way. The sixth card for you is representing your immediate future. Your card is the Nine of Cups. You will expect and desire a worldly success. You want a secure job and financial liquidity. Overall situation in the future will still be the same without any outstanding change. For work, you will feel satisfied with your job but you will expect progress and being more recognized. However, there will be success waiting for you. You just keep doing what you like and the result will certainly be good. This card reflects happiness in all areas of your life such as health, finances, work, luck, love or relationships. One of the most positive and uplifting cards of the entire deck, the Nine of Cups shows satisfaction on all levels, emotional, physical, and sensual. Its appearance is often taken as a sign that, whatever your heart's desire, it shall be granted in the coming days or weeks. Know that you have paved our own way on the path to success. As a Cups card, the Nine usually refers to an emotionally fulfilling situation, such as the strengthening of a romantic bond, the solidification of a friendship or the consummation of a sexual relationship. It shows that joy and happiness are within your grasp. In fact, you probably already have them. It is a sign to enjoy the abundance of life and to feel each of your emotions as if you had never felt any of them before. See the perfection all around you. The Nine of Cups is also about counting your blessings, living in the moment, and enjoying the good things that life has to offer. Start or end every day by creating a mental list of the three things you are most grateful for. You will find that over time, you indeed have a lot to be happy about and it may increase your feeling of deep contentment and fulfillment. The Nine of Cups represents stability and advancement. 
This card signals delight and pleasure, contentment with what you have accomplished so far and forms a steady foundation for the future. Your worries are all in the past and you can look forward to a bright future. On the other hand, the Nine of Cups can also indicate splurging and indulging in life's luxuries. This includes enjoying good food and wine, appreciating the arts, making love, relaxing in a beautiful resort, or experiencing beauty. Of course, balance is needed to ensure that you do not become lazy or greedy but generally the upright version of this card suggests that this is more a time of enjoyment than of suffering the negative consequences of such enjoyment. The seventh card for you is representing the advice for you or what approach can be taken to address your current challenges. Your card is the Six of Wands. This card is all about success, victory and public recognition. Not only have you succeeded in achieving your goals, you are now being publicly acknowledged for your efforts and your results. You may have recently received an award, public acclaim or acknowledgement from your peers for the work that you have done. It may even be just a pat on the back or getting praise or recognition for your work. This instills a high level of confidence within yourself and gives you the strength to continue your efforts. This card indicates that you have harnessed your strengths and talents in order to bring about a successful outcome in your endeavors. You have managed to get through the confusion of the Five of Wands, minimizing your distractions, focusing on the task at hand. You have overcome the challenges along the way, and now you are focusing your energies on the one goal that will lead to your success. This is your time to shine and to come out on top. However, you may find that problems still persist and you cannot solve them immediately. You need to be patient and try to solve them gradually. You may feel bored with the delay and uncertain situation. For work, be careful of lack of enthusiasm as it may delay your work. For love, you will not be fulfilled at this time but do not be hot-tempered. Just keep trying. The Six of Wands is such positive encouragement to believe in who you are and your accomplishments so far. Have faith in what you have personally achieved and how this will be received by others. Do not let fear or guilt stand in the way of your success. You ought to feel proud of what you have achieved and not afraid to hold your head up high and feel worthy of others' attention. The Six of Wands focused on creating success and building your personal brand and reputation. You want to be successful at what you do but at the same time, you want to ensure that others know about it and give you the recognition you deserve. You may need to promote yourself more frequently by sharing your success stories with others and encouraging them to follow a similar journey. If you do not already, you will soon have some great success stories to share within your personal networks. You may even be interested in applying for awards or scholarships in order to build your brand and receive public recognition. The downside to the Six of Wands is that it can also bring self-importance, arrogance and egotistical behaviors. With victory you may come to think that nobody can be better than you and you end up with an inflated ego and a big head. If you take on this attitude, someone is likely to want to take you down and criticize you, bringing disappointment and potential disrepute later on. If empowered by the energy of the Six of Wands, keep in mind how you would feel if someone made you feel inferior or put you down. Reign in your ego and make your victory all the sweeter. The eighth card for you is representing, the external influences that can be the people, energies or events which will affect the outcome of your situation and are beyond your control. Your card is, the Ten of Wands. During this time, you may feel that your work is very hard and you may have high stress at work. You have heavy workload that you may not finish them on time, and need someone to help you. 
however, it may be difficult to ask for any assistance from your colleagues as they also have their own heavy problems and burdens. You will not have enough time to rest and have to manage issues at work all the time. Overall, you have reached the end of a cycle after a period of struggle. You are finally reaping your rewards after investing a lot of hard work and effort. You have fulfilled a creative venture, realized a dream or accomplished a major goal, and now must deal with the consequences of that fulfillment. However, the Ten of Wands suggests that even with the achievement of your goal, there comes with it great responsibilities and commitments. While you have reached a point of completion, you are becoming starkly aware that you must now carry on with the responsibilities you have laid out for yourself, in order to ensure ongoing success. The trouble is, however, that these responsibilities may become too much to bear and you are struggling to let go. It is a bit like the business owner who creates a flourishing business but who is unprepared to delegate some of his, her responsibilities to the staff and ends up working 70-80 hours a week. The inspiration and creativity that was associated with the initial goal or vision rapidly disappears, and everything becomes hard work all too quickly. Thus, it is incredibly important to let go of or delegate some of your responsibilities in order to free you up to still enjoy your life. The Ten of Wands serves as a reminder of how much we take on in our lives and all the extra burdens and responsibilities we weigh ourselves down with. We take on so much, trying to do all the things that need to be done. Thus, this card asks you to stop and examine your current lifestyle or work. Assess which activities or tasks are really urgent or really important particularly in relation to your broader goals. You may need to employ various time management or prioritization methods in order to determine where best to spend your time and which tasks you can drop. Your goal needs to be greater efficiency, whilst also freeing yourself up for rest and relaxation when you need it. This card can also mean that you are being oppressed by outside sources. You are overworked, overtired and overstimulated. You have more on your plate than you can possibly handle and you have taken on too much at this point in time. In an effort to get to the finish line, you have found yourself overwhelmed with the extra responsibility and activity. You need to stop working so hard. If you cannot stop, then conserve your energy and pace yourself. When you are overcommitted everything becomes a strain. The ninth card for you is representing, your hopes, wishes, dreams and fears. Your card is. The Four of Pentacles. You may feel frustrated with the situation as there is no movement or progress. During this time, you may feel that you are insecure and may take caution in everything. You may worry about your finance and think of saving money. For love, be careful of your selfishness as you just want to take from your partner but never sacrifice. This idea may cause problem in your relationships in the future. This card signifies that you have accomplished many of your goals and have attained great material wealth in the process. However, on the other hand, there is a risk that you will come to value only material wealth, thus becoming possessive and or greedy in ensuring that no one else takes away your wealth. The Four of Pentacles indicates that you are in a position where you are financially stable and secure with solid investments. You are very conservative about money and are not inclined to gamble in financial matters. You are very protective of what you have accumulated over time, and slowly and steadily you increase your net worth through saving money and safe investments. You are self-sufficient both financially and emotionally, as you often equate money with emotional security. Although this card shows a practical and financially stable person, it often indicates possessiveness, greed and an overly cautious approach to life. You may be afraid to take risks, both financially and emotionally for fear of losing everything that you have attained so far. 
As a result, you may be vaguely unhappy and unfulfilled. Deep down you are starting to realize that you have sold out for a conservative and overly safe approach to life. Thus, the Four of Pentacles indicates one of the dangers of prosperity, the temptation to value money far above its real worth. If wealth and financial success lead to a miserly or penny-pinching attitude, then you have found yourself in a narrow-minded state where nothing is perceived to have any significant value other than money. This attitude is an expression of extreme attachment to the material things of the world and is unhealthy in the long term. Sadly, possessions have become your life and you now assess your self-worth based on how expensive your car is, how many bedrooms and flat-screen TVs your house has etc. What this also means is that you must continually work hard to generate an income to sustain this standard of living and to sustain your ongoing obsession with material possession. Sometimes, the Four of Pentacles can indicate an inflexible attitude that is resistant to change. You have already established a way of living that now works for you, so why change? Change appears to be a threat to your certainty safety and security, and may place you at risk of losing all that is important to you. Any suggestion of doing things differently is therefore going to be met with resistance for fear of how it will impact your personal sense of security. Thus, you are more likely to favor tradition and tried and tested ways of doing things, rather than taking any risks at this point. The Four of Pentacles can also indicate a need to control your environment. You want to be in charge to ensure that your world does not get altered or changed, and as a result, you demand compliance and you insist on having things your way. You want to create order amidst the chaos, to bring a state of calm and stability back into your life. However, the downside is that you cannot always have things your way and you may prove to be too much for some, isolating yourself from friends or family. The last card for you is representing, the outcome. Your card is, the page of wands. There will be positive changes. There will be a new beginning which can be either of work or friendship, or meeting new people. However, there may be some troubles but in the extent that you can manage them. For work, if you have your own business, you may have new employees. Besides, this card signifies a good opportunity to penetrate into the market to expand customer base and succeed. For finance, you will have more liquidity than in the past but still have to be careful of your expenses. For love, if you are single, there is a chance that you may find a new one. However, do not be hot-tempered. It is just the beginning of relationship and you have to take time to know each other better. If you are married, you may have children and strengthen your relationship. The appearance of the Page of Wands indicates that you are experiencing a creative restlessness within you that is just waiting for some sort of expression, or, you may be on the verge of some sort of discovery or new phase of life. The Page of Wands represents the sudden creative spark that comes to you, suddenly and unexpectedly, and that starts you down the road of a new creative vision. Thus, he encourages you to express yourself and your individuality with light-hearted abandon. Listen to your unconscious mind and follow your creative urges, even if you are worried about being the lonely voice crying out in the wilderness. With persistence and a balanced perspective even the immature desires of the Page of Wands can be transformed into a beautiful creative vision that can change the world. Similarly, the Page of Wands indicates that you need to be positive and spontaneous but not overly impulsive. Your enthusiasm impresses others but if you become impatient or quick to anger or lose interest, you will put others offside and you will waste time in your creative projects. With the Page of Wands, you are inclined to give anything and everything a go. If you are enthusiastic or passionate enough, 
you embrace the opportunity to start out on a new journey or project and see where it takes you. You do not necessarily have a solid plan in place, nor do you really know where you are headed but you do know that you are excited about the possibilities. You are enjoying being busy and involved in various activities and projects. You like the freedom of being able to choose what you will work on today, and hopefully it is different from what you worked on the day before. Oftentimes, the page of ones is a messenger, bringing you inspiring or unexpected news, new information or a welcome surprise. It may be the birth of a child, a new and inspiring idea that a friend has, or a new opportunity for you to be involved in to change the world such as a community project. His news is nearly always positive and welcomed because it is often associated with change and creation. The page of wands may also represent someone you know or who is about to enter your life. He is a trusted friend who is devoted to your interests and will do everything he can to help you. His intentions will be honorable and genuine. He is here in your life to spark change, to help you see the world from a new perspective and to guide you towards a new approach. While you may look to this page as an amateur or childlike presence, he actually has a lot to offer you if you open yourself up to the possibilities that he shares with you. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Justice. This card comes to you because you're trying to make a decision. The angels guide you to wise and thoroughly considered decisions, with fairness extended toward everyone involved, including yourself. If you can't be objective in this matter, seek out someone who can act as an arbitrator. This card also means that a decision will be made in your favor. If you're currently in a legal dispute, it will turn out positively for you. Furthermore, it's important to thoroughly review legal documents or contracts before signing them. Additional meanings of this card, doing what's right. Taking responsibility for your actions. Resisting injustice. Standing up for your beliefs. Issuing or accepting an apology. Regal is the Archangel who creates harmony within relationships, and who can help you make decisions that involve other people. Call upon Regal to bring about peace between you and others. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.